You know, when I was your age, I practically lived in the woods out back. We'd explore, play games, breathe fresh air. Couldn't wait to stay here every summer. At least one of us had a happy childhood. Griff. It's only been a few days. Give it a chance. Sulphur Springs may surprise you. It may. That's a clip from the Disney Channel show, The Secret of Sulphur Springs, a time travel mystery series that follows a young boy whose family moves to a new town and takes over an abandoned hotel. Great premise. That show debuts on Friday and stars our next guest, who is from, ah, uh, that's right, Blooming Prairie, Minnesota. Please welcome Josh Broughton. Hi, Josh. Hey, how are you? I'm well. Before we get to the... Before we get to the show, I love, uh, because if people don't know, Josh is a regular on Dan Barrero's show on KFAN. Barrero, <laughs> obviously a member of our family, too. Josh, I love what he calls you, one of us Hollywood actor guy. Yeah. <laughs> pretty succinct. I mean, it pretty much explains uh, who I am to uh, all my beautiful friends and family in Minnesota. How was, my friend, how was, you know, we've had other actors that have, you know, left here, gone to Hollywood. Uh, because there's a ser different type of uh, great culture here than there is in, obviously, L.A. And, and everyone in L.A., is, it's not a monolith, but how, how was the transition for you? Well, I got kind of lucky in that I, I went to uh, Chicago first, so I kind of got my feet wet there, and, uh, but I was only there for about a year and uh, had some friends who, who lived in L.A., so I was able to crash on the couch and... Uh, <laughs> But it was still it was still a bit of a uh, bit of a learning curve. I, I think I got my first job within the uh, maybe the first three weeks of living there, and uh, all of a sudden I found myself on a soundstage on Spin City, talking to Heather Locklear while I was wearing a towel. <laughs> that that Josh that is ser that sincerely should be a chapter in your book. When you write yeah. the book, that's a t wearing a towel in front of Heather Locklear. <laughs> <laughs> just thrown right into the fire. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Let, let's talk about, you play Ben Campbell on uh, Sulphur Springs. Who is Ben? Mm. Tell me about him. So Ben, is a, he's a hardworking uh, guy living in Chicago and uh, decides that uh, he wants to move his, his family, uh, his wife and three kids, down to Sulphur Springs, Louisiana, and into, as you see here, the, the Tremont hotel which doesn't uh doesn't look like it once did in the 80s it's uh it's pretty worn down and some might say it could be haunted some might say you know whenever you say you you put disney channel in front uh, uh, of a show title or description uh, I, immediately people think up oh, it's just for seven eight nine ten eleven a year olds w what will right. adults for the adults watching this show what are they going to find that they would enjoy in this particular series? Yeah, I think the adults watching are going to, they're going to see a lot of the things that they, that they recognize from being parents or being aunts and uncles. Um, there, there's actually a lot of really cool, um, grounded, realistic uh, um, conversations that uh, Ben and his wife, Sarah have. Um, so it's kind of, it's kind of more hearkening back to, you know, the family shows that we could all watch together at yeah. uh, seven o'clock on Friday nights, you know, sit down with the whole family and the popcorn and, and just kick back and relax together. Little TGIF action on uh, ABC. Yeah. I, yeah. It really has that vibe. Speaking of, speaking of ABC, when you said that about spin city, I, I thought of something. So you've mm. obviously, uh, you've played a, an array of characters, different ages. Do you remember mm. the first time you got offered a dad role? And you thought to yourself, holy crap, I'm, I'm now of the dad role era of my career. Yeah, it, it only happened recently. I don't know. I think, uh, Jason, when I got to college, I probably looked like I was about 14. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> I only started auditioning for dads about five or six years ago. And, and he, like cops and lawyers, they would just go, uh, he doesn't quite look like he's old enough. And I'm like, I'm 37. What, how, long do, how long do I have to wait here? <laughs> I know. Uh, I, we both, I think we have this in common. I, I have that thing, too. I have a baby face. I have, so yeah. I, I didn't look my age until about four minutes ago. But uh, That's where the beard comes in handy. That, yeah, exactly. That, that helped me, too. <laughs>
How did you, <laughs> Josh, how did you get uh, hooked up with Barrero? Did you just call in one time or how did that relationship start? Yeah, I think I started stalking him. I just started, I liked the show. I really liked his takes and, and started emailing. And I, I don't know, I probably made some annoying, regrettable, pithy remark about some, you know, athlete in Minnesota. And he goes, oh, who's this guy? <laughs> uh, yeah, so I, yeah, and then that was just, it went from there. That was probably three or four years ago now. And it's, uh, it's been a wonderful experience. We've uh, he's he's helped to change my life. I appreciate Dan Barrero. Yeah, he's a good dude. He's a he's a member yeah. of our family. He really is. Did you guys shoot this? We have about thirty seconds. Josh, did you shoot this during the pandemic, or was this shot before last year? Yeah, we started. The, we shot the pilot about uh, eighteen months ago, and then we were five episodes through, and the pandemic happened, and then we had to go on the bench for a while, and then came back and had all of our wonderful COVID protocols and, and finished up the last uh, four or five episodes thereafter. So it's been, it's been a long haul. We're really excited to, uh, to show everyone. Well, I'm excited too, man. Everyone will be supporting you. Thanks for coming on. Come back anytime, my friend. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Secret of Sulphur Springs debuts, as Josh said, Friday on the Disney Channel. Good on Friday. Like he said, a little throwback to the TGIF era.